glaucoma patient understands um, the way we monitor glaucoma with pressures and imaging and then visual fields. And uh, visual fields are an essential component of uh, glaucoma monitoring. But anybody that's ever taken a visual field test, uh, myself included, can realize how uh, frustrating they can be sometimes and, and annoying they can be. And they're not fun. Um, and they're sometimes miserable um, and anxiety provoking. Right, because you're trying to get everyone, and you know, some, especially if you're like me and type A personality, you want to get all the ones, and you don't like the idea of missing something. Um, but we have some. Some days are good. Some days are bad. Some days you're a little sleep deprived. Some days you're a little distracted. Um, some days you're thinking about what you want to do right after this exam, and uh, and it's hard to maintain focus. So um, I tell my patients I don't ever get too excited or too worried about one visual field change. Because if you look back at all the studies we've done on visual fields, when you see a subtle change in a visual field, 80% of the time when you repeat it, it goes back to its baseline. So, you know, I know it can be, it can be worrisome when you're taking a visual field and you want to get it and you want to do your best and you want to, um, you know, get the best result. Uh, sometimes we just aren't having a good day. And, um, and sometimes the visual field is not uh, the most reliable or sometimes it shows a little change, but don't get too worried or excited unless you repeat it and it confirms that change. But it's a subjective test. And again, there's a human subjective component. So there's always some variability. There's always some background noise. And what we're looking at is for a trend over time. The other thing to remember is that when a visual field, when you have a visual field defect from glaucoma, that's actually uh, when you've lost a significant amount of your nerve tissue. And, um, and, and so we want to be careful with that. And we want to really, if you've already lost enough nerve tissue where you have a visual field defect, we got to be very careful with you. You can lose a lot of nerve tissue and have glaucoma damage without having a visual field change. So don't be falsely reassured because you have a normal visual field that everything is fine. You can lose a significant amount of nerve tissue and not actually have an impact on your visual field. Uh, so a visual field as well as uh, electronic imaging of the optic nerve tissue um, and pressure checks, as well as all other things are such important vital signs for monitoring glaucoma. Uh, visual fields are one of the more annoying ones uh, because it's really not fun to take them, but they're an important thing. Uh, again, do your best not to let every click mat make feel that everyone matters. And if you miss one, it's done because that test is very smart. It knows what you should see. It knows what you may not be seeing and it'll go back and test things. And again, your doctor will um, look at the field and if there's a change, repeat the field before making any significant uh, change in your treatment plan.